Jeffrey Gamer is not responsible for your game files. All mods in this tutorial have been tested and work properly. I strongly advise you back up your files as shown in this video in case you make any mistakes. I advise you watch the full video before installing any mods. Thanks. What is going on amazing, beautiful people? Your boy Jeffrey Gamer is back at you with a troubleshooting video. Since the 2699 uh, video that I dropped um, yesterday, since that video, I have been getting tons of messages and people on my LSPDFR Plus Facebook page, which is an amazing page. It is linked down below, go check it out. Um, since then, people have been dropping uh, a lot of pictures and having issues with this popping up, where their rage is saying that they're on a different version uh, than the 2699 files. And I'm gonna tell you what is probably your number one cause for that. When you watched my 2699 video and you went to the Discord and grabbed the 2699 files and installed them into your game, you were probably on a 2628, which was two versions ago, uh, GTA or, or um, Rage. So when you dropped in the 2699 files, you are now mixing 2699 files with 2628 Rage EXE. It's not gonna work, folks. You need a 2699 compatible Rage EXE to go with the 2699 GTA files. I hope you're following me, um, but nonetheless, we're gonna get you through it. Before I do, I do wanna heed this warning. Do not install an updated LSPDFR in Rage when they come out. You always want to wait for all three. Rage, uh, um, Rage plug and hook, LSPDFR, and Script Hook V. You want to wait for all three of those to update before installing them into your game. So after you watch this video and you're going to hear all the buzz that LSPDFR updated, let's go get it and install it. No, don't do that. Just wait for your boy GG to drop a video for you, okay? You know I always got your back. Always got your back. Until then, I'll get you up and running, okay? So with that being said, let's get to it. First thing you want to do is go to uh, the Discord. Now, in the Discord, if you're new here, you're going to have to verify. Click the verify. I think you got to wait like five or ten minutes, and then you'll be able to see these channels, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to scroll down to uh, LSPDFR support, and you're going to see backup files right here. Click that. Now, before I go any further, let me go here into my downloads folder and let me make sure the rage is not in there so it doesn't put that one after it. There we go. All right, so here are my personal 2699 files with a screenshot showing that these files are super safe. This is my personal rage plugin hook, 2699 compatible right there, that came out of my files. I will download these to show you they are safe. I will install them into my game to show you that they will work. So what you wanna do is click this 2699 and let that download. Now, if you watched my 2699 revert video and you installed these already and installed them already, you do not need to do this part, okay? You do not need to do this part. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna bring up the WinRAR and we're gonna close out of that and minimize it, X out of that. Now go to the Rage plugin hook EXE, the 2699 compatible one and continue to download. And that's not gonna bring up a WinRAR. It'll bring up this screen, but it won't bring up a WinRAR. Um, it's just gonna be the EXE, which you will have to, uh, so once it's done downloading, once you see that it's done downloading, which I think it is, I think I just fired it up, I did. That's okay. Uh, we can X out of that. And now we are all set in the Discord. Let's minimize that. Now what we wanna do is go to your downloads folder, okay? Go to your downloads folder and take that Rage plugin hook and drag it to your desktop. Boom, just like that. Now, let's, this is for Steam users, by the way. Jeez, I should have said it at the beginning. I'll put it in the title. Uh, now, what you wanna do is go to your disk drive that your Steam games are installed through. Program files times 86, Steam, Steam apps, common. You're gonna see your GTA folder right there. Double click it, all right? Let me go to mine. This is my GTA folder right here. As you see, there's my files. There's my Rage plugin hook. So here's what we wanna do. First thing you wanna do, take this Rage plugin hook, drag it right here into this buffer zone. Make sure you don't highlight anything. Don't do that. Drag it right here and drop it in. Replace the file. Yep, replace that. Okay. Now what you can do 
is you can like take this and you can pin it down here um you know if you wanted uh but what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually i'm gonna delete that there we go and now what you want to do is you want to open up the winrar you want to take these four files all four of these files not the folder just these four files drag those in and drop them all right again if you already have the 2699 if you hover over this gta exe and it says 2699 right there you don't have to drop these files in all you got to drop in is that rage if you're getting that uh rage pop-up that says you're not on the the right version all right so once that's done that's it you're done exit out of that exit out of that i'm going to fire up my rage my lspdfr to show you all that it works it's going to bring up this right here because we just installed rage totally normal what you want to do is click accept and then it's going to bring up this right here make sure you're at sixty thousand on that click plugins make sure all the plugins are checked good to go save and launch and then it'll say this can be shown again by holding the shift key click OK and folks you know how we do I'm gonna let this I'm gonna let this load all the way through so you can see that it works all you folks that are getting that rage pop-up saying that you're not on a compatible version I can almost guarantee that your GTA EXE or your rage EXE is from the 2628 build so once you installed my 2699 files, you are now incompatible. Well, now that you just installed the 2699 compatible Rage, you should be good to go. And we're just gonna let it load in. Sometimes when you install uh, the GTA files or Rage, uh, the first load in takes a little bit. So um, it takes like an extra half a minute or something to load in, but we're gonna let this bad boy load in and uh i'm gonna let it load all the way through so you can see that it works and there we go and there we go there boom baby look at that y'all we are cooking with bacon <laughs> i don't know why i said that but i said it all right and we're just gonna let it go through so you know, if you don't want to see this, if you trust me, hey, stop the video, give it a thumbs up, and uh, go install these files into your game and get back out there on patrol. For those that are still a little weary on my instructions, I get it. Totally understand. Stick around. Let's chat for a minute or two, and let's load the game in. I will force duty to, to show you that it works, and, uh, and then that'll be it. Um, again, I, I cannot stress it enough, folks. Please, I hope you're listening. When I... LSPDFR and Rage are going to update first. Usually they, they update... They will probably be updated... Let's see, it's 12.46 a.m. on the 15th of December. They will probably be updated later today. Okay? No lie, they probably will. If not today, tomorrow. They will update first. Do not go and install them. Do not do that. You must wait for script hook v to update now that could take up to a week or two although the last update script hook v was updated within like three days like i said as soon as they're all updated your boy will come i'll come through for you i will come through for you i will drop a video and let you know when it's safe to update your lspdfr rage and script hook v all right as you can see it's loading into lspdfr right now and I'm gonna let it load into the game. There it goes. F4. Force duty, hit enter. And there we go, y'all. Everything is loading up into the game. That's it, folks. Get back out there. I really hope this helps you. If it did, please consider supporting the channel if you haven't already. And hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you know when these beautiful, helpful videos are released. Also, as I said earlier, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. The more thumbs up this video gets, the more people it can help and teach and 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 just lets everybody enjoy it just like it did with you. Um, please, please, please give this video a thumbs up. Till next time, everybody, be safe, be healthy, be positive. Follow the rules and obey the law. Your boy Jeffrey Gamer is out. See you on the next one. Later, y'all.